What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to tell you exactly how you can get into investing without having to use your own money. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, let's go ahead and get into the video. Boom. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also be sure to smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, it really helps me out. And comment down below with your thoughts on this video, appreciate it. Uh, also guys, do not forget about my $100 American Airlines gift card giveaway for once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you're new to the channel, all you have to do is subscribe, comment on the videos, and like them. I really appreciate it. It helps me out, and that will enter you into the giveaway. But for now, let's go ahead and get into it. So what is this secret way how to get into investing and not use your own money? Well, for one, it's a process. I'm going to tell you that. And it's not gonna happen overnight, you know, anything like that. But it, my opinion, if you're young and you don't make much money, this might be the best route to go. Especially if you're someone who is just getting started in the points and miles game. And most people like to start off with cash back. I know that's the way, well, I, I take that back. I didn't start off with cash back cashback card was probably like my second or third card that i got um but i always would i would recommend do not take the route that i did uh definitely consider trying cashback credit cards out first um before you get into the points and the miles and everything like that um typically because uh points and miles come with annual fees and if you're not educated on how the points and miles work or anything like that downgrade options anything like that then it's always best to start off with those no annual fee cashback credit cards right so here's what you do i'm going to tell you exactly what to do what you want to do is you want to self-refer yourself to a Schwab One brokerage account, okay? And you want to make sure that it is paired with a Schwab High Yield Investor checking account. And that will allow you to get the Schwab debit card. Now, I have a video on the Schwab debit card. I will link it in the cards right up here, but this debit card right here saves you money in terms of uh, ATM fees worldwide. So that's even in the US, it doesn't matter which ATM you go to, they will rebate you your money back, right? So you know, when you go to an ATM that is not affiliated with your specific bank, you're going to get charged an ATM fee both ways by your bank for using a non, you know, a non affiliated uh, ATM and then by the ATM itself, right? So uh, this is a great card. Uh, it's great to be affiliated with Charles Schwab, especially now since they have gone to no uh, fees for online trading. Okay, so that's awesome as well. Now you self refer so that way you can get a free $100 for signing up for the accounts, right? And some most times it doesn't even require any specific deposit. Um, and you will get that $100 automatically deposited into your uh, account, okay? Now, second, what you can do is you can apply for the Schwab Investor Card, which is a card that is provided to you by American Express. Now, the reason why I say you want to make sure that you have these accounts first, the brokerage account combined with the high yield investor checking account is because you have to be a member of Schwab in order to qualify to get this specific cashback card. Now, you're saying it's just a cashback card. Why in the world does it matter, right? Well, on top of that $100, you are going to get a $200 bonus for hitting a minimum spend of $2,000. And in my opinion, most people who are just starting out, even young professionals, doesn't matter who it is, your bills, your expenses on a monthly basis will equal out to a little over $2,000, especially if you're paying for food, you're buying groceries, you're paying for gas, you're paying for light, water, you know, cell phone bills, anything like that, you're paying your rent. Um, think about that, guys. Your everyday spend is probably going to equal out to around 
$2,000, right? And I think that's a great way to get another free $200 deposited into your brokerage account. And you can use that now $300 to invest into some type of uh, mutual fund and index fund, you know, any type of ETF. And it's basically going to be free if you're trading online. If you're buying and selling stocks online, it will be absolutely free. They are charging zero online trading fees, which is amazing. And they just implemented that just recently. Uh, and so I think that is a great way to get into investing. And the reason why I like this Schwab investor card is because it gives you 1.5% cash back on all your everyday purchases. And that cash back gets immediately deposited into your brokerage account. So this is a great way to start getting into rewards for one, but it's also a great way to start planning ahead for the future, for any future um, wealth that you wish to have, you know, plan for retirement, plan for, um, you know, your children, anything like that. I think this is a, a great strategy to help yourself get ahead. Most people don't ever really think about retirement. Uh, they always think about living in the now, but it's always I feel like it's always OK to live in the now and still plan for the future now. Most people either blindly throw money at an IRA or blindly throw money into a savings and don't necessarily get far with that plan. Well, the great thing about this card is that no matter what, if you're spending, obviously once you get into the points and miles and you're gonna wanna start using to maximize your spending. But think about it. Most people like to get the Chase Inc. Unlimited or a Discover It card or a Chase Freedom card in order to get cash back right which is fine there's there's nothing wrong with that but i think if you're going to use a non bonus category spending card like a 1.5 percent cash back card similar to the quicksilver card similar to the uh chase freedom unlimited and the chase inc unlimited then i would recommend you going with the schwab investor card because that's money that's going to go towards making more money long term in the future now i know what you're saying it's not going to make that much of a dent in terms of your progression uh it's it's not going to provide you with much money over the course of time but if you get this card early then think about it you have this card for 10 years 20 years and you've just spending been spending on it then imagine the amount of money that you could have had built up already there and then have that money working for you in those investments right so i think this is a great card to have and i'm going to go over some of the details so one of the great things about this card also is the interest rate that they offer so the interest rate that they offer is between 15 and 18%. Now that's not always the case. Yes, it's still relatively high, but compared to most other card issuers, you're going to see somewhere between 15 and 24%, right? So, and most times it's on the higher end. I think this is a great thing that they're offering competitive interest rates in terms of a no annual fee card. It's great. <laughs> Uh, and then finally, obviously you guys are going to um, be getting 1.5% cash back on all your purchases, but it does come with protections and that's a great thing. Now, I won't go over all the protections for the sake of this video, but this card also comes with a 24 seven dining and event assistant. So all you have to do is call and they can help you with any type of reservations or purchasing any tickets that may be sold out. I think that's awesome, you know, and it also does come with, you know, purchase protections and, and certain warranties that, um, well are provided. So I think that's a great thing. And, uh, yeah. So guys, let me know down in the comments below. Would you apply for this card? Do you have the card? Do you have a relationship with Charles Schwab? And what do you like best about it? What's been your experience? I'm curious to know. So just let me know down in the comments below. I appreciate it. And that'll conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below to let me know about this Schwab Investor Card. What do you think about it? Don't forget to hit the bell notification down in the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person. Be safe. Be smart. And remember, this takes some getting used to. Damn it. I just got the mic trying to make the videos better for y'all. But yeah, it's like my hands. I like to move my hands, you know, I, and I can't because this thing, is. I'm just going to hit it, right? Anyways. Remember, be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit. Ah.
ah, 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 is your life. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.